Let's talk for a moment about Svidas Ha'oimer, since that's the uh, the nature of this month. If we understand counting the Omer as a um, an improvement in our in our midas, in our character. Why is it called counting? Is that the wrong word? You're trying to improve your chesed, your gvura, your tefedas. What's it called counting? So Hasidda says the word for counting is also the word for polishing. Shining. So, if you improve your 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 character, you become sterling character. Then you shine. So, the word counting is basically eliminated. It means nothing. It's inappropriate. Stop calling it counting. Call it shining. But the word does mean counting. And the fact is. We count. So, what is that? Also, if the point is to improve your character, so what, do you have a week to improve your kindness? That's it? Done? And what do you do during these days of Svita that improves your character? You don't play music? <laughs> what, what improves your character? Well, think about it. Right? That's going to make a mensch out of you. Where is the effort? Where's the job? Where's the. It's a regular weekday. You go about your regular business and you're improving your character. Why? Because in, in the evening you make a bracha and say, that's it? So. One of the ways of understanding it is like this. We have many character traits. Not only kindness and, and, and severity and compassion. Within kindness there are seven parts. Within severity there are seven parts. Within the that what makes up that's what makes up our our complicated, sophisticated confusing lifestyles or personalities. Before Pesach begins, you have to rid yourself of all chametz, meaning all arrogance, all selfishness, all self-awareness. No chametz. None. None. To an extreme, to a, to, a, to a crazy extreme. So when you sit down to the Seder, you have no qualities. They're gone. You're not entitled to an opinion, you're not entitled to a feeling, you're not entitled to anything. And that's why you are told exactly what to do because You're nothing. So, the sons who ask the question, they're told what question to ask. And the father who gives the answer, he's told what answer to give. And then you have to follow the steps. Do this first and do this second. And there... Why, why do we have to be so... Uh, ordered because by yourself you would do nothing you're wiped out you have no opinion you have no feelings you have no character you have no nothing you're matzah <laughs> and a broken matzah once you achieve this humility 
now, as you prepare for, for Shavuos, you have to bring back your, your personality, but without the chametz. So there are 49 layers of personality. You can slowly bring back one at a time, just keep the chametz out of it. So you're not becoming more kind than you ever were. You're not working on being more disciplined than you ever were. That takes more than a week. And it's a full-time job. What you're doing is you're replacing your personality one piece at a time, but clean. That's like taking a part of complicated machine, dusting off the parts, cleaning them off, oiling them, and then putting them back together. So you dismantle yourself for Pesach, and then for 49 days, you, you, put, it, you put it back together. Like people who take apart their gun, and they oil it, and they clean it, and they polish it, and then they put it back together. <laughs> or people who do this with their cars. So that's called the polishing. But it's also counting. You count the 49 pieces as you put them back together. Today I've put together two pieces. Now I've put together three pieces. Now I've put together five pieces. And then by Shavuos, you have your complete personality back without the arrogance. 